Good day and welcome to this tutorial class. My name remains Oluwa Tumbi Blessing or Lalikon, the founder of Michael Tech. Alright, today we'll be looking into the construction of a parabola using the envelope method. Okay, so we are told that we have two lines OA and OB as right angles with OA horizontal and OB vertical. So the very first thing I'm going to do here is to produce my horizontal line in this order, which is this okay as you can see on the screen right there then after that i am going to actually produce a line perpendicular to that horizontal line like this with my set square so which is what uh this also i produce that also what faintly faintly okay so i have my o right here okay so we are told that oa is on the horizontal plane so this is oa and ob is what vertical ob is what is vertical so we are told that the length of OA is what is 150. So with my ruler standing at point O with length of 150, I would I mark out my what my OA. Okay. So this is the limit of my A from O. I was told that OB is what is 130. So with my ruler also mark of 130 on my OB, which is what this. So this is the limit of my what of my B so to apply the envelope method what am i going to do uh i need to actually decide so i am dividing uh the vertical and horizontal plane into eight equal halves into eight equal halves so how do i do that yeah to divide 150 into eight equal halves yeah it's going to be giving us something decimal likewise 113 into eight equal halves so to have a way forward on this we are going to apply the principle of division of line technique okay so if you don't know how to actually do this check the link in the description below you are going to actually see uh, a video there which is going to teach you how to divide a line into equal halves using the division of line technique or division of line principle okay so i'm going to actually do that now okay as I said earlier on, I will be dividing OA and OB into what? Into eight equal halves. Okay, so just as I said earlier on, check the link under the description below for how to divide a line into equal parts. All right, so I have actually divided this one offline. So the very next procedure is to start joining my points all together. So I'm going to first of all join point B to point A right there, like this, faintly. Draw it faintly, okay? Then I'm going to join point B okay to point seven so faintly also faintly so point b okay to point six also faintly like that all right so point b to point five faintly okay point b to point four faintly all right point b to point three faintly okay point b to point two faintly okay point b to point one faintly okay do you see that so after doing that now the next thing is i'm going to jump point eight okay to point one on the vertical plane so from point eight which is my mark a here to what to point one on the vertical plane i'm joining that so wherever it intersects with the first line on point one on the horizontal plane here, i'm going to what asterisk that do you see that so yeah from point eight to point two on the vertical plane also i'm going to join that also which is this so we're joining this now so wherever it intersects with points two on the horizontal plane this is it right here okay so point a to point three on the vertical plane also like this whenever it intersects with point three on the horizontal plane i'm going to what asterisk so point a to point four on the vertical plane like this also whenever it intersects with point four on the horizontal plane i would i asterisk so point a to point five like this to the vertical plane okay so whenever it intersects with point five this point five on the horizontal plane so this way it intersects i take note of that so point a to point six like this also so whenever it intersects with point six on the horizontal plane this is it right here then point A to point 7, which is this. Whatever it intersects with point 7 on the horizontal plane, what? This is it. Okay. So then I'm going to link 
all the points together now from point b down to point a with my what with my french curve or flexible curve you can see that this concept is also what it is cheap just like plantain chips okay easy as a b c okay so i'm joining this like this yeah so don't worry about my french curve what you actually after is the curve not about the french curve okay even though i patched it all right okay all right so that is the uh parabolic curve using the was the envelope method so kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it my name remains oluwa tumbi blessing or lalekon the founder of michael tech thank you